nature needs kids and kids need nature from the tallest oak tree to the smallest creature nature needs kids kids need nature become the great student of this great teacher hi friends hello hello i'm miss morgan welcome to my sing-along and nature study are you enjoying nature today i hope you are oh my goodness where i was yesterday it got very windy was it windy where you are it got so windy that the trees were blowing and blowing and guess what i did i took my binoculars out and I looked up at the hawk's nest, cause I wondered, does the hawk get scared when it's windy? She was up there, looking alert from her nest. And the little baby, cause I think I've only seen one little baby hawk. I saw its little head peeking out. But mama, she got very low in the nest. And I'm sure she told little baby hawk to get low too. And so I watched the hawk nest while the wind blew from my screened in porch. And they were okay. And that nest didn't even budge. It was incredible. They truly are engineers. That nest is so secure. Even 50 mile an hour winds can't blow it down. Well, knock on wood. I don't want that nest to blow down because that baby's got to grow up and I got to watch it fly. I get to. I get to watch it to learn how to fly. Anyway, today we are going to talk about an exciting nature friend called the monarch butterfly. But should we sing first? Alrighty. Twist my arm. I like to sing. You know that. All right, you ready? Come, friends, walk with me. Come, friends, to the trees. There's so much to learn. There's so much to see. Come, friends, to the trees. Here we go! Come, friends, walk with me. Come, friends, to the tree. There's so much to learn and there is so much to see. Come, friends, to the tree. Come, friends, walk with me. Come, friends, to the tree. There's so much to learn and there is so much to see. Come, friends, to the tree. Ba -da -ba -da -da, to the tree. Ba -da -ba -da -ba, to the tree. Come, friends, walk with me. singing good singing well yesterday if you were watching oh my goodness once again my screen went blank ah, how did that happen i don't know so i got on the internet and i got in touch with youtube which is what this is youtube and they said, well, I think they thought that I was singing songs that weren't mine. And you're not allowed to do that on YouTube. Not unless you get permission from the songwriter. Or if you read a poem or something. I told them, these are all my songs. And so they said, okay, so hopefully, hopefully I'm crossing my fingers. That. The screen 
won't go away. The picture will stay, that I'll stay here, and you'll be able to see me. If that ever happens, you know that there maybe has been a mistake. So I told them, these are my own songs, and I gave myself permission to sing them. <laughs> okay, today, today, today. Do you know what a monarch butterfly is? I bet you do. Do you want to see my picture? Here's the monarch. There. I had so much fun drawing the monarch butterfly. She's so beautiful. This is a male monarch. And this is a female monarch. You can tell the difference because their wing veins, which are these black parts here, the male has thinner veins. See how hers are a little thicker here? And the male has two black dots on his wings. See, she doesn't have those. So that's how you tell a difference between a male and a female. You might see lots of different butterflies. And you can tell the kind of butterfly it is by the design on its wings and probably how big it is or small it is. The monarch has, and the color, and the color. The monarch has a very special design. And of course, these beautiful orangish wings with black and white. White around, you can't quite see the dots, but there are little white dots around the black here. So beautiful. I really worked a long time on those. It was fun to study the design of her wings and his wings. What's this up here? Do you know? Yep, a caterpillar. That is the monarch caterpillar before it's a beautiful butterfly. You know it's a caterpillar. And that's what the monarch caterpillar looks like. It's got yellow and black and white stripes. Got little antenna here, a ten antenna here like that when it's an adult too. And then I have another picture down here. A plant, a plant very, very special to the monarch butterfly. In fact, without this special plant, the monarch butterfly can't live. And I'll tell you about that in a little bit. Do you want to know what kind of questions I ask myself? First, like when I study all the nature friends with you, and when you study nature friends, we put on our wondering cap. Wonder, wonder, wonder. What am I wondering about the monarch? I think really hard. And I come up with questions. What does it look like? I already described that a little bit. Where do they live? What habitat do they need? What does the monarch eat? What is metamorphosis? Oh my goodness, that's a big word. You say that? Metamorphosis. 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 Am I saying that right, Sarah? Metamorphosis. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All of a sudden, it didn't sound right. We'll talk about that special process. <laughs> well, I already described what it looks like a little bit. Orangish with black and white dots. Hmm, <laughs> beautiful. Where do they live? Well, here's the fun part. They migrate like birds. We've talked about that a little bit. When it's cold, they fly south. They fly south to be warm. They'll go to a country called Mexico. Some will go to a place called California, which is far away from Ohio. And it's warm where they can be warm. And then when spring comes, you know what they want to do. They fly the other direction. That's what migration is. Birds do it too. Some birds. So 
they live in the United States, in Canada, a country above us, in Mexico, country below us. What do they eat? Well, that monarch caterpillar only eats one plant. Can you guess what it is? Oh, you know, this is called the milkweed, the milkweed plant. And here's the other special thing about the milkweed for the monarch butterfly. The monarch will only put its egg under the leaf of the um, milkweed plant. See, I've made a little, a little monarch egg. Before it becomes a caterpillar, it's a little egg under the leaf of the milkweed plant. See why the milkweed is so important to our monarch nature friends? See what color? It's kind of like a pinkish, yep, the kind of pinkish flowers. Uh, yeah, pinkish flowers. It's a pretty plant. So the caterpillars will eat the milkweed when they, after that egg, when it comes out of that egg, it'll just stay there and eat that plant. When it becomes an adult, a butterfly, it'll eat other things. Other things like, well, nectar from the lilac tree. We talked about the lilac and other plants. But that caterpillar needs the milkweed plant. So we got to make sure we have milkweed plants for our monarchs. Now, what is metamorphosis? Oh my goodness, look what I have. Look what I have. I have a book that says the life cycles of butterflies. I got that off my shelf, my bookshelf. And look, looky, looky, looky. I went to the monarch section. Because remember, there's all sorts of kind of butterflies, many species. This is just one species, the monarch. You see the egg? You see the little monarch egg? Whoop. See the, the caterpillar? Yeah, there's the caterpillar. Caterpillar. There's the chrysalis. That's what the butterfly is in before it becomes a butterfly. Should I read a little bit? Okay. We usually find a single egg under a host milkweed leaf. Host. You know when you throw a party, you're a host? That means it's your party. A host plant is the plant that, that where the egg is, where the um, caterpillar egg, where the uh, monarch egg is. We usually find a single egg under the milkweed leaf. We've sometimes found them on milkweed flowers and seed pods. Mm. The bright stripes of the caterpillar, the bright stripes of the caterpillar, warn predators that this caterpillar is not a tasty meal. After it hatches, the caterpillar eats the milkweed leaves. We talked about that. The plant's toxic. Toxic parts are absorbed into the caterpillar's body, but it doesn't hurt it. Wow. So the milkweed has kind of a kind of a poison, but the caterpillar is able to eat it. Whoa. When the caterpillar is ready for the next phase, it hangs upside down. There it is hanging upside down. And it's ready for the next phase. It hangs upside down from a patch of silk that it has spun. The pale green chrysalis. There's the chrysalis. The pale green chrysalis is adorned with shiny gold dots. The chrysalis matches the color of the plant leaf. Just before the butterfly emerges, the chrysalis becomes transparent or something you can see through and then the butterfly comes out of the chrysalis. Wow, that is amazing. And that's my butterfly book. And that is a little bit of the monarch butterfly's story. 
Every nature friend has an amazing story. I just lost myself when I was researching. I lost all sense of time and everything else. I spent a long time researching the monarch. You know, even though the caterpillar can eat that milkweed that is kind of toxic or poisonous, if a, if a birdie, I read, if a birdie or a lizard or an animal they won't eat that caterpillar because they know they won't eat the monarch. But some other nature friends can eat the caterpillar. Maybe some wasps. Yeah, isn't that interesting? Some can't. Some can. Nature's amazing. Oh my goodness, friends. You know what that reminds me of? Nature rocks, woo! All right, you ready to sing Nature Rocks? Nature rocks, nature's cool. Okay, get ready. Nature rocks, nature's cool. Look at all the things, look at all the things that we can do. You can climb a mountain, you can climb a tree, swim in the waters of the deep blue sea, open the door into your own backyard, find cold nature, you don't have to look far, cause there's over 10,000 species of birds, another 5,000 mammals you never heard, millions of insects that blow your mind. Nature is cool, that's the bottom line. Nature is cool, that's the bottom line. Here we go! Nature rocks, nature's cool, that's who we want to be. Nature rocks, nature's cool, that's who we want to be. Nature rocks, nature's cool, that's who we want to be. Nature rocks, nature's cool, that's who we want to be. got the message. Well, remember, yeah, I was going to say get outside today. Looks like it's going to rain. It's fun to play in the rain, but if it's lightning, that's not safe. So if it's just raining, maybe you could go and jump around in the puddles. But if it's thunder and lightning, stay inside. Remember to work on your nature journals. See if you can learn anything else about the monarch butterfly. Remember, all our nature friends are important and have a purpose. And that nature needs kids, and kids need nature. Woo! Nature needs kids. Kids need nature. From the tallest oak tree to the smallest creature. Nature needs kids. Kids need nature. Become the great student of this great teacher. Here we go. Open your eyes. Open your ears. Sit down in the middle of the forest here. Listen to the wind, birds, and the trees. Yes, they do. Nature needs kids. Kids need nature. From the tallest oak tree to the smallest creature. Nature needs kids. Kids need nature. They're counting on us to be their protector. 
To see you, I can imagine it. Thank you for joining me, and I'll see you tomorrow is Saturday. I'll see you for our ninth week review. See you then. Bye.